Well, what do you know? WB fucked it up again. We go from one night having the biggest pay-per-view of the year, and it's just, WB is exploding. I'm excited that I'm heading into SummerSlam, uh, an event that I'm attending down in uh, Southern California in L.A. in the Staples Center, that they're actually moving towards what I was thinking was going to be John, C John Cena against CM Punk. Round two, uh, I buy today platinum tickets for the uh, package to go to WrestleMania. My, my mind is just blowing in wrestling right now and just how big this is. And what do we get? We get Triple H who comes back on Raw. Another mark out moment. My favorite wrestler of all time. And within two minutes, they kill everything. I think WWE just deflated the ball on this whole CM Punk thing by taking Vince out. This is the WrestleCraft moment of the year. There is no way in the world anyone believes that Vince McMahon is truly stripped of his powers, that he's being taken out of the WWE Universe. This is ridiculous, the stuff that they're shoving down our throats. Um, they, their bubble was so big. I was, I was defending people saying that, you know, the biggest time for WWE is uh, from Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. Now here we are in the middle of the summer, and it, it, it's bigger than Mania. This is this is the biggest storyline that they've had in years. They've got more people caring about wrestling in one night, and what do you know? They take a knife to the volleyball, boom, all the air explodes. They got, they got Triple H and Vince McMahon crying in the ring. This makes no sense at all. What we should have got was the finish to that tournament. We should have been... A new, uh, a new champion should have been crowned. We should have had um, freaking uh, a, a John Cena and CM Punk thing. Anything but this. I was hoping that we were going to get a tease from CM Punk, like waving the title, sort of saying, like, I got your title, Vince. Come and get it. But we got none of that. We got two old guys crying in the ring. We got the Russell Crap moment of the year. I guarantee you that's what it's going to be.